welcome back. Uh, we are here with Dunerith's first quest called Sending Them Off. In the middle of their journey, Dunerith stops to listen to Bran. It seems like they've got a desperate, cli desperate client with an urgent funeral request. How urgent can it be if it's a funeral? Oh. Huh? What's up, Dunerith? It's Bran. I think he sensed something. Bran. Look over there. That's my buddy Bran. Wait, are you referring to that monster? You can say that. From time to time, us beast folk become friends with monsters. Perhaps they know what we are and know and that we share the same roots. As for me, Bran showed up one day and we've been friends ever since. Interesting. And what did your buddy Bran find out? Give me a moment. Come here, Bran. Wow, what a smart bird. Hmm. <laughs> ah, I see. Right. In that case, we should probably get going. Um, Dunerith? Why are you talking to yourself? Okay. And the location is? I see. Got it. Thanks, buddy. Ah, my bad, Aldo. Bran just told me that I'm about to receive a request from a client. He told you? Brain and I can communicate. Wait, are you saying that you weren't just talking to yourself? Of course, I was talking with Bran. That's amazing. Can I talk with him as well? Hmm, we'll have to see about that. Do you want to try? Okay. Hello, Bran. I'm Aldo. I'm friends with Dunerith. I know. Dunerith has told me about all about you. Nice to meet you, Aldo. Whoa, that's amazing. He really talks. Haha, <laughs> of course he does. Huh? Oh, haha. Uh -huh. well, what's so funny? <laughs> I can't believe you actually thought that was real. Oh, but he just spoke. That was me. It's called ventriloquism. Forgive me, Aldo. I couldn't help it. Your reaction was too funny. Ugh. For a second, I was happy that I could talk Bran for re that I could talk Bran for real. To Bran, maybe? Who knows? I know. Unfortunately, Bran and I communicate in our own language. I see. In that case, how does he manage to receive requests from your clients? He can't speak, can he? You are right. My clients and I will write to each other, and Bran just delivers the messages. I see. I guess he doesn't have to be able to speak after all. I suppose not. Well, actually, it depends. What was the message about? work. Sending the souls of the deceased of my kind to their proper place is what I do for a living. Sending the souls of your kind to their proper place? To be more specific, I mourn the souls of deceased beasts. People refer to me as a traveling purifier. So you've just received a request for mourning the deceased. Yep. It seems the client is in a little bit of trouble right now. I've got to go to the Serena Coast. Is that okay? Sure. Off we go to the Serena Coast. Off we go. It's going to be fine. Don't you worry.
Don't you worry. All right, Serena Coast. It means we've got to go over to Rind. towards the middle. Punching my microphone here. Excuse me, mister. A group of humans and beasts working together, huh? Weirdos. I'm Dunerith, the traveling purifier. I was on Snakebone Island before I came here, assisting funerals for a living. Funerals on Snakebone Island? That's great. I was in a bit of a jam here. Oh? How so? I assumed you only needed to host a fun funeral ceremony. The thing is, my wife who just passed away is from Snakebone Island. I am from this side of the world, so I have no idea how things are arranged out there. Ah, I see. Humans do ceremonies differently in different regions, right? Same applies for the world of beasts. Funerals held on Snakebone Island are rather unique. We call them Ascension. Ascension? How does it work? Basically, it's practiced so the souls of the deceased beasts can be sent safely to the afterlife. The afterlife. My wife did mention about it from time to time. Once departing the body, the soul is led to the afterlife by the winged being so that they may rest in peace. All the beasts on Snakebone Island believe in this. No wonder why my wife mentioned pos uh, possession. <laughs> Ascension at before she passed. Good thing I didn't arrange a regular funeral for her without even thinking. No one blames you for not knowing about this. That's the very reason why I came. I'm here to help you do things in the right way. You're a lifesaver. Right. I'm counting on you. I'm happy to be part of this if you need any help. So what's first on the list? Let me see. First, we need her memento in which her soul can reside. Is there an object, or any object your wife used to treasure? Hmm. I think my son can help you out with that. That's great. Where can we find him? Walk along the shore for a while until you reach the cliffs that overlook the sea. The three of us, including my wife, used to go there and count the waves. Right. He must be going through a rough time. He is. That's exactly why we should do this properly. The funeral is also a ceremony to help those who are left behind. That must have sounded like a cliché, though. No, it's fine. You're absolutely right. We need a funeral for my wife, for the sake of my son. I'm really glad you're here for us, Dunarith. I'll do whatever I can. Well, let's head to the cliffs to find your son. Do I have this cat? I have that cat. <clears throat> Not you. <coughs> Sorry. Mom.
that's him. I knew he'd be here. Dad, what are you doing here? And who are they? I was thinking of asking these people to help us with your mother's funeral. For that, we need a little something that your mother used to treasure. Could we have that dagger? What? This dagger? No, no way. Are you crazy, Dad? This dagger is something that Mom kept with her all the time. I understand that you miss your mom. But didn't you promise her that one day you'd become a mighty beast that she'd be proud of? Are you saying he can't do that while he's mourning her? Seems a little insensitive, homeboy. Yet you stay out here all day crying for us to say goodbye to her as she leaves this world. We need the dagger. I won't. I won't. I don't want to say goodbye to her. Please, son. What are we going to do? Clearly he doesn't want this. Hi there, I'm Dunerith. I'm here to hold an ascension so that your mom can rest in peace. A ascension? What's that? It's an important ceremony for sending your mom's soul to the afterlife, but we need something from your mother to make that happen. Sending mom's soul to the afterlife? I think your mom has mentioned it to you at least once, hasn't she? Souls of deceased beasts are sent to the afterlife to enjoy living a peaceful life forever. That's... that's nonsense. Mom stays here with me and she's not going anywhere. Wait. Halt. I'm sorry about that. My son was so attached to his mom. He has every right to be. Please don't apologize. But this makes things a bit difficult. Obviously that child is not going to let go of his mom's memento. The dagger, correct? It was the dagger that she used to carry around with her in case she needed to protect herself. She got it from her parents the day she left her hometown. She kept it with her always. I see. Say, Dunerith, can't this object that her soul must reside within be something else? Unfortunately, it might have to be that dagger. It might? Never mind. Pretend you didn't hear that. Those who are left behind tend to depend on things to pro prove their connection with the deceased, especially children. But we may never bind a soul here and prevent them from traveling up above. We've got to convince him to hand over the dagger. You're right. Let's go after him. We don't want him bumping into someone and getting into trouble. I've been telling him not to get anywhere close to a human village. Beside, he wouldn't just wander off. He literally just wandered off. Sadly, I guess you're wrong about that. Your son is heading towards the Carrick Swampland. A Carrick Swampland? There are vicious monsters out there at this time of year. Why did he go there? I've been warning him to stay away from there all this time. He needs to go protect himself that dagger. We can think about that later. Your son may be in danger right now. Thanks, Bran. That was helpful information. We need to get going to the Carrick Swampland. Help your boy. I really like Dooner this model. Like the more I, I use him and look at him. I'm like shaking my whole desk with my legs right now. Poor design though. Oh, never mind. Straight ahead, we have this cat. There we go. Let's 
gonna say I'm not regularly on this side here. I usually go to the other side because most of the time I come here to Serena is because I'm working on fishing. Taste that Dunerith's voice there. I could have not like walked this whole way, but here we are. We're gonna be going straight out. I won't make you suffer. This will be quick. Cool. Blended in with the background. I was like, where the heck? Go, go away! Stay away from me! I don't think he's gonna do that. There he is! Are you okay? Dad? Help! Mom, help! Uh-oh. Something's going down. What's that? A dagger. It's shining. Bran. Get over here. D Dad? Oh, thank goodness you're okay. What was that light? We'll talk about this later. Right now, we've got to deal with that monster. Y yes, I suppose so. Let's get him, Dunerith. I won't make you suffer. This will be quick. <laughs> It'll be very quick. There are times when you just can't let up. So it stops doing that. Whew, we're safe now. Are you alright, child? Are you hurt? N no, I'm fine. Why did you come here alone when you know there are monsters out there? I'm sorry, but I... It's okay. I just wanted to know that you're safe. But I'm not going to spoil you anymore. Now hand me your mother's dagger. Um, I can't. Didn't you see? The dagger shined. I was saved by its light. It must have been Mom. She protected me. This dagger is Mom. I'm not going to let go of her. You're making this more difficult, son. It seems there's no other way, Bran. You've got this. What? What does a bird have to say to me? Promised, remember? You said one day you'll become a mighty beast. This voice is... Wipe off your tears. You've got to protect yourself. I can't be around you all the time forever. Mom, is that you? It worries your mother that you're relying on that dagger. She can't move on and go to the afterlife. Right now she's talking to you through Bran. Oh. It's terrifying. How can he do that? Mom? 
But it's not right for the deceased to stay in this world. There's a place where they belong. Why? Why can't she stay here with me? All beings can only exist in a place they're supposed to be. Fishes can only live in water, and trees can't grow from the sky. The deceased will always be in pain if they are kept in this world. Mom will be in pain? I... I don't want that. Thank you, my son. <laughs> Thank you, my son. I always believed you're a good boy. M Mom? Well, now. Let's help your mother leave so that she can reach the afterlife. Then someday in the future, you'll be able to see her again. I will? Are you sure? Yes, dear. Your mother said so. Alright, I'll say goodbye to her. For real. Are you sure? Yeah. Forgive me, Dad. I'm such a wimp. You must be tired of listening to me whine all the time. But I won't cry anymore. I'll stay strong and one day I'll grow up to be a mighty beast. Just like you and Mom. I'm sure you will, son. So, you need this dagger to send Mom to the sky, right? That's right. We need it right before we send her off. So until then, I want you to hold tightly onto it. Alright, I promise I won't drop it. Why do I have a feeling like the next quest is going to be, I dropped the dagger. That's my boy. We're here with you. We'll send her off together. Okay. So, where is the ceremony going to be? Right. The ascension must be held at a location where the deceased had an attachment. You know a place that was important to your mother, don't you? It's that place where we found the kid where they used to watch the waves. I do. The New Aru Uplands. Follow me. Oh, okay. Maybe it's not. Good lord, why does Dunir's quest seem so, so much longer than like everybody else's? This is where it freaking started, too, isn't it? And, apparently, where it ends. Are we really going to have the Ascension here? Yes. It is important to do this at the location where the deceased was most attached to. This will be the last place where the departing soul can see, hear, and feel. It doesn't look like there's anything special about this location, though. How did this place matter to her so much, I wonder? Well, Mom once told me why this place was so special. It was the smell of the breeze. It was that the smell of the breeze reminded her of her hometown, that's why. That's why you took the risk and tried to walk through the Carrick Swamp Land to get here. You knew you had to bring your mom's dagger here. Yes. I see. I had no idea. You see, Mom smiled as she told me not to tell you about it. She was worried that you'd be concerned if you thought that she misses her home. I didn't realize she felt that way. Sounds like she was such a kind person. Well, it's time. Bran will take care of your mother's dagger and soul. Okay, Bran. Guide her to the afterlife. Goodbye, Mom. See you again, my beloved. 
her soul has safely reached the afterlife. There's no need to worry anymore. Thank you so much. I'm sure my wife was pleased by the ceremony. By the way, about the cost of your services. There is no need to worry about that. It's been taken care of. Huh? But I haven't paid anything yet. Oh, actually, that's the thing. One of your wife's relatives sent us the request. They've already settled everything. Is that so? Well, that's great and all, but... I guess I can only offer you my thanks. You've done so much for my wife. Um, thank you. Thank you for sending my mom off safely. It's fine. I wish you two all the best. And don't forget to get stronger. I'm pretty sure your mom is watching from the sky. Sky mom. You've already been paid pretty handsomely for this job. Isn't that right, Reliath? Huh? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, it's nothing. By the way, you've surprised me once again. You're quite the performer, aren't you? Performer? It was you when Bran was talking as if she was possessed by the boy's mother, no? Oh, that. Those weren't my words. It was no doubt a message from his mother, and I was just speaking for her. You're not pulling another one on me this time. Anyway, don't you have to inform your client that the ceremony was done? The request came from her relatives in her hometown, right? About that. Actually, this had nothing to do with them. What? But the father and son weren't the ones who requested the ceremony either. Then who was the client? The truth is, the request came from the deceased herself. What? Bran sensed her soul when we first came here. He listened to what she had to say, and so, in a way, she became our client. Well, wait a second. How can he sense souls and then listen to them? Bran can sense the souls of the deceased, and I, with Bran's help, examine the souls and speak to them. And the act that you put on was... Her soul was there and I just spoke on her behalf. Didn't I just say that? R right. Communicating with the dead, you say. It's a pretty neat skill you two have got. Ha! Neat skill. It's nothing, really. But why didn't you just tell me the truth from the beginning? Why didn't you just say that Bran received the letter? Why did, did you just say that Bran received the letter from the client? Yes, I did say something like that. But this was a bit of a special case. It was you, Aldo, who didn't listen to me until the very end. Isn't that right? Well, I mean, that's true, but... And whether I received this request through a letter or not, you still would have helped me, right? Well, I guess. Then I see no problem here. Everyone's happy. Brain? Ha <laughs> look at him. He's taking a liking to you, Aldo. Probably because you're such a pure guy. Uh, yeah, yeah, whatever you say. No, I'm being serious. He's never been this friendly with anyone, besides myself, of course. A monster that guides souls to the afterlife. But at least that's more believable than you are, Dune Earth. Oh, Aldo, that one hurt my feelings. You earned it, don't you think? Anyway, let's just go.
Guiding souls to the afterlife. Although, there's something I forgot to tell you. I'm not feeling the truth is. There's no such place to go in the afterlife. Oh, dang. I'm not sure that was so much of a forget as just like him not saying it. Since he literally could have just told Aldo. But, uh, I guess we'll learn more about what that's all about in the next episode. Until then, uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed me, feel free to check me out over at twitch.tv corndog913. And uh, until the next episode, take care.